We are standing in such a pristine, beautiful location right now. It is such gorgeous weather. I would argue there are few places, if any places in the world, that are better than right here, right now. And where are we? We are in... Dana Point, California. Dana Point. And so we have on this channel, I don't know how long you've been watching this channel. I, I think maybe we have, you know, zero people that have watched this for a long time. From the get-go. From the get-go. But if you have, if you're that, you know, one person, maybe you've heard us call Dana Point, which is where we are, a unicorn city. Because, Famously so. Yeah, not famous. <laughs> not famous. Famously. Not famous. <laughs> But maybe you've heard us call Dana Point a unicorn city because of what you get for the price. I mean, Dana Point's not cheap. Nobody's going to ever say that. But if you compare it to Laguna Beach, it's definitely not anywhere near as expensive. And Laguna Beach is just its neighbor right to the north. But prices have been going up over the years. We don't know if Dana Point is the unicorn city that it used to be. It's yeah. still fabulous. Sorry to interrupt you. We have to express, though. <laughs> it's still fantastic. But is it the unicorn city? Yeah, and the thing is, uh, I feel like take personal responsibility <laughs> that we, from promoting this as unicorn no. city, have made this price shoot up in value. And no. so that's where you're going, okay, it's amazing. And it's definitely still way better prices than, than Laguna Beach. But is it like the unicorn city that it has been, that we have promoted it to be? Yeah, I mean, so the prices have definitely gone up over the years, right? So in comparison to Laguna Beach, would you say Laguna Beach is probably 50% more? Yeah, about 50%. And it used to be twice as much, right? Yeah, exactly. So the prices have bumped up, right? And and Newport is similar to Laguna, right? Yeah, I would say like, you know, Newport, Laguna, uh, for like the similar type home, you're looking about 50 to 75% more for that same type of property. Yeah, then you're going to get here. But then, of course, to the south, it, you have San Clemente, which is typically less cons expensive than here. Of course, you're not as you know, well located is here because we're more centrally located in Dana Point. But. Yeah, definitely. So like, so going farther south, San Clemente, like you mentioned, is a bit more like reasonably priced. Value is a little bit different though, because it's hard to say. Cause you know, the thing is that, uh, that Dana Point has such amazing value proposition. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get into the value, the actual, what makes Dana Point such an amazing like area to live. But on top of that, we're obviously layering that with, okay, f like as amazing as the city is, the price point, uh, you know, does that still make this the unicorn city that it has been? Yeah, and then of course, Huntington Beach, right? That's to the north. That has some amazing value, right? We're almost wondering if Huntington has taken over the Dana crown, point, the crown as yes. a unicorn, <laughs> meaning value, right? None of these cities are cheap, but what you get for the price, like we always like to say Aliso Viejo, like if you're, you know, looking for Irvine and then people find Aliso Viejo, which is similar to Irvine in many ways, but it is so much less expensive. So we're like, wow, it's kind of a, a unicorn city. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't know. You may, you'll have to stay tuned, subscribe, so see, see what we say about potential changing of the guard of Unicorn City. Exactly, because again, that thing is where the word gets out, right? And then so that's an interesting thing where you see mm -hmm. what was once considered super like amazing value for what you got. And again, yeah. we're not trying to say in any way, shape or form that San Clemente or like in this case, like Huntington Beach is a better city because that's a subjective thing. And there, yeah. again, all these cities are amazing. It's just like what's important for you. But then when you layer on that price point, which mm -hmm. we're going to get to later on, but we want to obviously set the table as far as how great of a city Dana Point actually is. So before we continue, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad. And we're licensed realtors here in the state of California. And if you're watching this channel, you may be thinking, well, Sean, I love Orange County. I love Dana Point. I love Dana Point's Harbor. I love Dana Point's beaches. I love the perfect blue skies. I can't wait to move out here now. The problem is I'm not local. I may be out of state. I may be even out of the country, so I don't know what to do. And I totally get that. That's when you reach out to us. We can have that conversation, find out specifically what you're looking for, be your boots on the ground. So that way we can do virtual tours of not just the properties, but the neighborhoods as well. Really get granular about what you're looking for and find that perfect home for you. So what you want to do is you want to give us a call or shoot us a text. Yes, that number is the cell phone. So you can call us or text us, or you can use WhatsApp if you're outside the country. Let's talk about its location first. So it's definitely farther south than say Newport or Laguna. But what's interesting is that even though it's farther south than Laguna, meaning that it's not as centrally located, it's actually far more easy to get in and out of Dana Point than it is to get in and out of Laguna Beach and actually Newport Beach. So Yeah, or even it's like San Clemente just because San Clemente is even further south. Yeah. San Clemente is actually pretty convenient right off the freeway, but you have yeah. to go further south to get there. Uh, like, yeah, you know, even though we're like Dana Point's not centrally located, it is a, south, a southern beach city in Orange County. 
in its farther south than let's say like Laguna Beach is, Laguna Beach is a pain to get to and it's honestly yeah. by design. They, they yeah. kind of made it that way where it is such a pain to get into. You have Pacific Coast Highway, which is one way, but then you have one, the 133, which yeah. honestly backs up. I mean, again, uh, when it's busy, it is, it's so busy. It's so bad. It's and like, again, crazy. there's like one way in and one way out of there yeah. for the most part. I mean, yeah. again, not counting PCH, but like it's just, it's a pain. And I, again, I think that people want it that way, honestly. So Dana Point is the five freeway actually, like actually goes right through mm -hmm. Dana Point or like right on the edge of Dana Point. So it's actually really easy to get to the five freeway, which in if you're not familiar with the West Coast, the five freeway runs from the Mexican border all the way to the Canadian border. So it is the dominant freeway going north to south in on, on the west coast yeah and then another thing that's cool about dana point is the types of homes that you can get here you can get the really cool eclectic beachy homes beachy neighborhoods and then you can also get the master planned gated communities you yeah want to talk about that it is a tale of two cities you know <laughs> again in, in a good way but like <laughs> like the new the new stuff and also like kind of like the more eclectic like you know just beachy kind of feel so you mm -hmm. have a little bit of a different kind of thing so dana point like so the to the north like so as you get to the south of dana of Virginia beach you have monarch beach and that's part of dana point it really is a newer area as far as a beach community in dana point and it's like you have gated communities with gated subdivisions within within monarch beach you have newer homes like circa i mean it kind of varies but like let's say around two the, the year 2000. <laughs> <laughs> so it has like you know some just newer stuff but then on the su southern end you have just like you know capistrano beach so you have like these more beach you know like they were beach shacks at one point or whatever some still are there but then some people have torn them down made beautiful homes out of them it's a little bit of everything and yeah. so and they don't have much hoas if any so it's kind of one of those things where Depending on what you're looking for, Dana Point kind of has you covered, especially along the coast. Now let's talk about the school district. So Dana Point is part of the Capistrano School District. This is a very highly rated school district, you know, A plus, I believe, on niche.com. He's got some very highly rated high schools here. So Dana Hills High School, I believe, has an A on niche.com. And then, you know, sometimes people kind of pick and choose what high school they're going to go into, into within Capistrano Valley has a very high ranking for a high school. You've San got Juan. San Juan Hills has yeah. a very high ranking. So you've got, you know, some really good choices. Also, what's interesting about Dana Point is that you're really close to a Spanish immersion elementary school program as well as a Mandarin immersion elementary school program. So very close. Uh, you can choose either one if you wanted to. So. Yeah. So Capistrano, just so you know, is the largest school district in Orange County. So it encompasses several cities in census, census district or Sensei district. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically we have, so what's nice about it is that you do have some opportunities to transfer to different areas. So like for instance, Irvine Unified School District, which I know a lot of people, you watching this channel, you're interested in Irvine, they're pretty rigid. So if yeah. you're in zone in a certain spot for your for the school, it's really hard to transfer out of there. Capistrano, yeah. again, not to say that it's- Guaranteed. It, yeah, guaranteed, exactly. Yeah. It's not guaranteed, but it's, there's a lot more fluidity. To, yeah, exactly, yeah. to it. So so if you're really wanting to go to certain high schools, you have more opportunities, to, or elementary schools for that matter. Yeah. So like for instance, like that Mandarin Immersion Program that you're mentioning, there's mm -hmm. a lot of kids that come from all over like the Capistrano yeah. area. So totally different cities and all the stuff that are going there because they want that particular curriculum. So it just it just kind of depends. So that's a really nice thing about Capistrano. Yeah, I mean, one of my daughter's best friends, her brother is going to Dana Hills High School and he's not, they're not zoned for that. So yeah, I mean, obviously it's not guaranteed, but you do have more flexibility. Yep. Now let's talk about crime and safety. Again, Sh Sean will give his little sh uh, shtick, his little spiel about that because obviously crime and safety is subjective, but if you do look at the statistics, if you look at the numbers dana point definitely has better than average for the national average and then do you want to better than average yeah I mean, it's, it's yeah you can look for yourself yeah. and depending on what city i'm not sure about dana point but a lot of times the police department of that city you can actually find a crime map if you do a little bit of digging so yeah there's a lot of uh data out there if you're interested in the actual statistics yeah definitely so the thing is is that what i always say is that whenever Again, because it's so subjective, what I might think is safe, what well, you might think is safe are two totally different, or could be two totally different things. Some people want to be in Irvine, which is obviously apparently ranked super high or the highest in the country, yeah. but then they want to be in a gated community in Irvine. I mean, they, you know, like they just want layer upon layer of layer of safety, yeah. which again, I, I, you know, there's nothing for me to judge. It's yeah, just that everyone's got different, you. yeah, exactly. You do you. I, you know, I, I'm just like, you know, <laughs> yeah, so you, you do, yeah. <laughs> Could, could have been put it, put it yeah. better. Yes, you do you, I'll just work on finding you what makes for, like, sense for you. So yeah. basically, so regardless, everyone's different. Like, uh, so 
based off of that, what I would say is that, you know, if you find an area like a neighborhood or a specific property even that's really interesting to you, I would recommend going to that property or that neighborhood at different times of the day and in the evening just to kind of get a sense of, okay, how does this feel for you? Because obviously, you know, you may find that even though the statistics tell you one thing, you may find that being there, you're going, okay, you know what, actually this is way better than I thought, or actually, you know, this is not as, I'm not feeling as comfortable as I thought it would. So either way, we want to make sure that you're happy. So definitely go, go to these different areas, different times of day, really get a good feel of what makes sense for you or not. So now let's talk about a con, and actually we've really said no cons. I think that's the main reason that we initially labeled Dana Point as a unicorn city, because I remember the first time we ever did a pro and con video of Data Point, we were talking about it the night before, and we just kept thinking, but what are the cons? <laughs> but what are the cons of yeah. it? <laughs> it, was, it, it was, it's a struggle for sure. <laughs> Other than price, of course, yes. but I mean, this is Orange County, this, this is a given, right? But I would say one of the cons is that you're definitely not close to any sort of commercial center. I mean, it is a decent drive to Irvine, which is the main commercial center of Orange County, and Newport Beach, which is another big commercial center, and then Anaheim's even farther north, and then of course, LA. I mean, if you're, live, if you're working in LA every day, I personally would not recommend Dana It would Point. not be a good unicorn yeah. for you. Yeah, no. I would definitely say that. Like when someone actually reaches out to me and going, okay, I'm commuting to Los Angeles and I'm interested in South Orange County, which Dana Point is in, you know, South Orange County. I, I'm like, are you sure? Because there are North Orange County cities that can kind of give you a lot of what this stuff, this, these areas have to offer, but the proximity, you're missing a ton of traffic yeah. going from like south to north or vice versa so you may want to really consider that again if you're only if you're going remote working and you're going one day a week or to completely remote working period of course like you know that's yeah. great it's just that if you do have to be at an office location i mean not that like you know the irvine spectrum 20 ish 25 minutes it really kind of depends on the traffic how long it takes to get from here to there i also have a 30 minute commute like if you're kind of guessing you know ballparking it so it's just kind of that's probably the the closest main hub. Now that is the main hub of all of Orange County. So what's nice is that's not that far away from the major employment hub, but you're still like, there's nothing like right here yeah. in mass. There are obviously places to work, which is that like your, your yeah. employment hubs are kind of a little bit further away. Yeah, for sure. And then obviously I would say the main pro of Dana Point is just the lifestyle, right? You got this outdoor living, unlike anything really in the world. And then you've got great shopping, you've got great dining. You've just got so much to do here. They've got the Lantern District here. It's just such a spectacular city for just your life, right? Day-to-day it, -day living. It's it's beautiful. I mean, honestly, it's, it's a beautiful city. It's, it's very relaxed as far as it goes. Some people might find it a little too slow for them, possibly. Yeah. I don't find it that way, but at the same time, everyone's different. I mean, obviously, if you're looking for a hustle and bustle kind of thing, maybe not the best place for you. But honestly, for the vast majority of people, you're yeah. out, you're, you're like hiking, running, mm -hmm. boating, uh, surfing, surfing, yeah. uh, paddle boarding, kayaking. I mean, this is Swimming. a very water like centric yeah. kind of area. I mean, you know, that's yeah. why you're paying to be right next to the yeah. water. And again, another, another attribute of the, this water right here is the fact that this is on that beautiful sweet spot of the perfect weather yeah. in the world. I was, put you up against, put Dana Point up against anybody in the world. Yeah, so we've established that Dana Point is an amazing city. So why might it be, you know, being taken over in terms of its unicorn city status, meaning it's just so amazing and you can't believe that the price is as quote low for, for what you're getting, right? Yeah, heavy is a head <laughs> that wears a crown, right? Yeah. So it's been holding that unicorn <laughs> yeah. horn with pride, doing it because of such, like the pricing was shockingly low it for was. how, I mean, the city hasn't gotten any better or worse since we were dubbing this the unicorn city. Yeah. It's, it's just an amazing city. Yeah. It's just that the pricing, the word's kind of gotten out. And again, I know we, 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 have so much power that yeah. we affected this, no. you know, Any, this mass migration that, to Dana Point. Yeah. Is anyone it. who thinks that, <laughs> please, like that is so wrong. I have I have delusions <laughs> of grandeur. So basically, we do not. <laughs> we do not have delusions of grandeur. <laughs> so basically, what we're saying here is that the prices in Dana Point have gone up a pretty good amount. Yeah. And so when in you compare, sorry to interrupt you, but in comparison, especially to like San, San Clemente, Clemente and Huntington, Huntington Beach. Yes. Where you, the, you, Dana Point used to be very similar to them. They were almost like all the same. Yeah. Like, like when you actually looked at the median home price for San Clemente, Dana Point, and Huntington Beach, they're all about the same. And going, well, I mean, 
that's kind of amazing value for yeah. Dana Point because you're getting, again, a lot of the Laguna Beach feel for a bet for half the price. Yeah. Now it's not half the price anymore. Yeah. So you're kind of going, oh, that's that's interesting. And then yeah. and then what we, we've seen, we've been noticing is that, okay, so, so San Clemente is a good amount lower than Dana Point, probably by about... 20% give or take yeah. Uh, yeah give or take about 15 about 15 percent lower than Dana Point is and then Huntington Beach is about like 40 percent less than Dana yeah. Point so you're kind of going that's a you know it's one of those things where again because you're always reevaluating the market yeah. it's such a dynamic situation going well for that price if you're paying a premium now compared to those other cities now you have to look at it under a different you know through a different lens yeah. and so that's where you're going okay San Clemente is a little bit further south. So it's a little bit less convenient. It has a lot of the, some of great attributes, but it, is it worth, you know, is, is Dana Point 15% more valuable for that convenience? It may just be. I mean, obviously everyone's a little bit different. And then conversely for Huntington Beach, Huntington Beach also is like very convenient to get to, has a lot of similar attributes that Dana Point has going for it as far as just quality of life and all that other stuff. And it's significantly cheaper. Now, having said that Huntington Beach is a little bit skewed because it's location, you know, like uh, like some homes can be five or five miles plus away from the beach. So yeah. it's not really quite beach, li <laughs> beach living in relation to some of the homes yeah. in Dana Point. But, but, like, but when we were first doing this stuff, they were very yeah. comparable. So that's, that's the yeah. interesting thing that Huntington Beach hasn't shot up nearly at the rate that the Dana Point has. Could, could it be because when we first started, there wasn't as much um, remote work, and now there is. Yeah, because it, Dana Point, it, it, if I was going to choose just based off of what I thought was nicer in terms of my own, I don't know, personal taste, I would choose Dana Point. I think it's the prettiest out of all the cities, and I guess maybe if more people have the opportunity from remote work, that's why it's gone up. I, you know, it's that's that's a great question. I mean, it is interesting because obviously these homes, just the word's just gotten out that these are really beautiful cities and it's just a, yeah. it is interesting to see that Huntington Beach because again if you're working in LA Huntington Beach is a fantastic yeah, option because you are in North Orange County mm -hmm. very convenient access so we'll have to probably I don't know we'll have to revisit this to kind of see well who is like what city does where like is there a new unicorn, unicorn? Yeah, yeah that's that's we'll a see. question we'll see and remember we are licensed realtors here in the state of California so as much as we love making these videos what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs so whether you're looking to buy or sell a home what you want to do is when you give us a call or shoot us a text Yes, that number is the cell phone, so you can call us or text us, or you can use WhatsApp if you're outside the country.